How's it going? So basically, I was able to validate that in fact there is a winning and winner's queue and loser's queue in League of Legends. So, like today, I had 80% win rate, and the only two games that we lost was um, basically I made mistakes in my formula. I'm trying to create a formula where you log into the lobby and you can see whether you are in a winning queue or you're in a losing queue, right? Because if you're in a losing queue, your games are going to be like 10 minutes and it's already 0-11 score and you pretty much already lost the game, right? That calls you're on in the, in the losing queue. Winning queue, it's the opposite. It's like 10 minutes and the game is already like 12-2 or something, right? So lo look at my scores. Like perfect KDA, perfect KDA, perfect KDA. I'm a good player. I'm not. I'm not like a professional, but I'm a good player, right? The problem I'm having is I do not know how to win a game when it's like where I have one kill, I have pretty good CS score, but my opponents are just like destroying my team. They are literally just crushing it. I do not know how to um, win those games, so I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna avoid those games <laughs> at all, at all costs. So today my win rate is 80%, right? So I keep track of it. Unfortunately, I have to dodge a lot. Okay, so today I dodged 39 games. So I play 1 and 5. I want to see the impact of this in the long term. So let's say you have 100% win rate on a champion or like 80% win rate. But like you only play 1 and 5 games. <laughs> so it could be impossible to climb but the fact is a fact the fact is that there is in fact a losing queue and there is in fact a winning queue okay so if you want to have a pleasant experience pleasant experience playing league of legends i would highly recommend highly recommend dodging um losers queue because it's not fun to to get pretty much when you try to win the game and it, like your team is just getting decimated and you're just watching and there is literally nothing you can do about it okay so the formula the formula is very simple right i'll show you the formula okay so you need to create a team analysis yeah and you need to look at their opgg yeah so the most important thing, jungle role has to be decent. He has to be decent. He must not be bad. Okay, because if your jungler is bad, what's going to happen is they are going to, he will not control drakes. And you know that the, the four dragons right now is very, very strong. So, I mean, what could what can happen is you're winning the game, but your opponent takes all the objectives and you just lost the game objectives are more important than kills the dragon soul buff especially elder dragon is pretty much game changers you can be like 500 5000 gold down but if you have the dragon soul and especially elder dragon you're going to win the game 100 percent so the whole idea right now of the game is to make sure that you get four dragons so jungle goes without saying if he has to be good has to be good okay so the second thing i found if you are in a winner's queue right your total win rate so what i do is i look at people i look at the champions they're picking and i put how many games they have played with the champion and what is their average win rate right so if you sum up all the win rates of your team, if it's over 325 approximately, that means you're in the winner's queue. If, if it's over 325, you are most likely going to win, right? You're most likely going to win. So that's one thing, right? Number one, jungler has to be good. I'm going to write them out, all right? Jungle must be good. Yeah. Number two. Win rate around 325 plus combined, right? Three, you must not be counterpicked, right? 
because it goes without saying you are very very important uh, component of winning right so make sure that you do not get counterpicked right and I haven't slept in like um, I've been up for like 18 hours now so I'm a little bit rusty right so in here players must be experienced okay so what I noticed is if a person has for example five games and he has 80% win rate versus a player who has 79 games but only has 57% win rate okay this guy will be better than this guy okay so a player has to have at least 20 games right so you see this this in here so 20 plus games only champion at least okay you can also look on cues like if you have a doubt like if your team looks good but there's one player one player that is like you have a question mark about him what you can do is you can look into you can go into opgg and you can look into his previous season history to see whether he played that champion and what was his uh, percentage win rate okay remember in league of legends it's not the team that has the best players that wins. It's the team that has the feeders that loses. Okay. So your weakest, for example, I'll give you an example. This guy, uh, Dikar, Dikar, right? He's a challenger player in NA. And he was asked once, hey, if you take a gold player and you put him into SKT, they are the world champions for League of Legends, Korean, best of the best, right? So you take a gold player and you put them into SKT. How far can they go? He said that they will probably won't even be able to beat NA um, academy teams. Academy teams are like before even the challenger and before LCS. He said they probably... <sighs> and we know that NA is not a strong region. So the best region, Korea, with a gold player will be inferior to a shitty region, which is an A, an academy team, which is not very experienced team. Why? Because the, the weakest link is going to lose you the game alone, right? So make sure that all of your cards are aligned. So if you have a questions, and if you have a player who never played the champion, Dodge the game. Do not play it. Because he will solo lose you the game. He will solo lose you the game. It's like you're going to be playing 4 versus 5. Okay? Don't take that chance. So, to sum it up. Jungler must be good. Players must be experienced. Win rate combined 325. You can do 250 plus, but um, I, I strive for 325, then you'll 100% win. And you must not be counterpicked. Alright? And that's how you know you are in a winner's queue. Take care.